Now let's create a database table in Eclipse. So right click on the package, new, other object, dictionary, and this time database table. Give the name Z EMP underscore master. Let's say employee master. Click on next. Select the request. And now see this time this is the different editor because here we have to create the table through Eclipse in this way, not through the SE element concept. So first you can see the default the client key field. And now I want to add my second key field as employee ID. Okay. And here I will search for my new domain ZEMP underscore ID. We have to press control plus space. This is the key field. And second field I want to add as employee name. And for that also we have created the domain ZEMP underscore name. Next I will add one field as department. And for that I will use the abap.care and here we can define the length. Okay. And now let's learn how to add the currency field. Example here I want to add the salary. The type is abap curr 15 and decimal 2. Okay. And see here this message annotation with reference to currency code for field salary is missing. As when creating any amount field in SE11 in SE eleven table, so what we do generally there we give the currency code name, we give the currency in quantity field. Okay, so here also we have to add that currency key. So what I will do, first I will add a currency code here, currency code above that C-U-K-Y. Okay, and for the salary, we have to give the reference. So at the rate, semantic dot amount dot currency code. And here, we have to give the table name and the currency key. So this is our table name master dot the table field that is currency code. Okay. Now see now no error. So what I have done I created a new table by taking the two data element which we have created and after that one additional field with the predefined data, data type abac.care and here we can give the length then I have added one salary field and currency call field let's add one date field as well let's say last change date and let's say time And this time field we can use here. And this time L we can add here as a date field. Fine. Save. Check. No error. And activate. Our table name is ZEMP underscore master. Let's go back to AC element and here I will enter Z A P underscore master. Click on display. See the same table is created 
in SC11. And you can see here the key field, client, employee ID, employee name, department, salary, currency code, and last change date. Same which we have created in Eclipse. So this is how we can create a database table through Eclipse instead of SE event. So in this way, we done with this session on creation of database table using Eclipse.